Today we are going on an adventure in George here, aka the Adventure Mobile. It is uh, my spring break currently, although half of it's already kind of over, but the destination today will be pretty sweet. Wink, wink, although you really can't see me winking, but you will find out here. So, as you can tell, this water tower says Bryan, Ohio. That's where I am today, here at uh, Spangler Factory. It's a candy factory, and they make dum-dums, like they have like dum-dum pops over here, but they make the dum-dum suckers, and then they make uh, a lot of candy canes, and circus peanuts, which are disgusting by the way. I don't know what else they make, but there's a tour, they give tours here. So I figured, why not take a tour of a candy factory? How sweet, wink, <laughs> would that be? Tour entrance. Gotta have a hair net, huh? Yep. All right. <laughs> Regardless of how much hair you got on top. Uh -huh. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, good. We're gonna be nice and cozy in it, Charlie. You all wanna come back this way. Sure. Gotta wear a hair net, so let's put it right under my hat here. Get on the trolley. You know, six when he bought the Gold Day Baking Powder Company out of Defiance County. Moved everything, no no more pictures. No more pictures. Oh. Just yeah, how fast the dumb dumbs are coming down over there. For ones that don't have snakes on it, wrappers on it. Now, depending on how it's to be packaged, depending on what workstation it goes to down here. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, that's what I thought. Even with all the machinery and everything, we still got hand packaging going on here. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, that's what I Now Spangers also opened up a plant down in Mexico uh, several years ago. When they did that, a lot of the workers thought, oh boy, there go our jobs. But because of the subsidized cost of sugar here in the United States, uh, Spangers opened that plant, was able to remain in the candy cane business, and become one of the world's largest manufacturers of candy canes. Ew, circus peanuts. We got all kind of history and stuff. A bunch of old candy. These candy canes over here were made in 1954. Don't mind me if I help myself to a sucker. I don't know what kind. I like, what is this? Dum Dum Sh Polar Blast. It's blue. I like blue. Well, that was fun. Um, I guess we weren't take, supposed to take video or pictures on the trolley ride, but uh, I may or may not have taking some video of the most interesting part anyway was like the packing area but uh, that's pretty cool they make I guess uh, 10 million of these suckers a day and like I don't know how many a year well you do the math I don't know so I figured while well, I'm in uh, Bryan Ohio here kind of look around town see what kind of things there are I just saw this shop called uh, Cornerstone Critters. So we'll go here and check it out. They got dogs here. 
Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Oh my gosh, I really want a dog. But this is gonna have to suffice for now. Don't you bite me. Don't bite my coat. Don't bite my coat. What is this kind of dog? It looks like a German Shepherd or something. Yep, German Shepherd. Hi, baby. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? This dog, though, I would get this dog in a heartbeat. Oh my gosh, dude. Look how cute you are. Oh, you so cry. Let's see, what's his name gonna be? What's your name? What do you look like? Chester. Your name's Chester. You look like a Chester. Slowly, he walks. That's a big chameleon. I want him to come over here to change color to orange. You know what these mice are for? Only $1.79. But, uh, nah, they're not, they're not made for pets. So I figured uh, since I was in Ohio, might as well just drive to Toledo, go check out the Hollywood Casino. So I've never been here before. I know they got some good poker. I've looked it up online, so spend some time here. This brings back memories of Vegas. This is about as close as I'm gonna get until I get back to Vegas. But uh, just sign up for the free player players card and I got $15 in free slot play so might as well do that the next day well uh, bad news I gambled most of my money away and now I'm broke Nah, just kidding I only put uh I had like free play so I paid $15 in slots and then I put another 20 in the slot machine and lost that so I really only lost $30 at the casino because I bought some food and then lost 20 bucks so it wasn't too bad I mainly just went over there to check out their little poker area and uh, it was pretty good pretty good they had they always they have a good poker room there they had a limit no limit games going on um, so it was a cool casino a little smaller than ones in Vegas obviously because they're not in Las Vegas, they're in Toledo, Ohio. But uh, it was a pretty good good casino, I liked it. But yes, it is the next day and I'm back here in Fort Wayne. I pretty much just kind of left the casino and went home and uh, just chilled out for the night, relaxed, watched a movie. I watched uh, The Number 23 with Jim Carrey. It's been out for a while, I think, I've, I've never seen it. It was kind of a kind of a different, different kind of movie, sci-fi, it was interesting. I am now on my way to a Fort Wayne uh, Comets game here. Got my Comets swag on. I always got the hat on, uh, usually, unless baseball season starts up. Then I'll throw my tin caps hat on whenever the Comets are done anyway. Which, oh, by the way, they did make the playoffs. They clinched a spot in the playoffs. So really, no matter with, if they win or lose the game tonight or a couple, a few more other games that they have for the regular season, they're still gonna be in the playoffs. So that's pretty cool, um, yeah. And it's also St. Patrick's Day as well. So that's just adding to this vlog. This vlog is so random today um, based off these two days, but I'm just trying to get in as much fun on my limited spring break as I can. Um, I'll, I'm gonna be posting a video once um, my National Guard unit posts some pictures and maybe some video of uh, what we did during our week. Um, we were down at Muscatatuck Training Center and uh, that was pretty cool worked on some riot training and now we're qualified uh, to be the first ones called out if there's like some kind of riots going on or natural disaster in Indiana so that's pretty cool so I will make a video on that once those pictures come out here we are got my coffee ready to get to work game it looks like there's a lot of action going on in Fort Wayne tonight for St. Patty's Day I think I better just play it safe and stay inside tonight because uh, 
just want to steer steer clear of all those crazies out there just yeah it's probably a good idea so that's gonna be it for today's kind of well double vlog i guess uh, a lot of randomness a lot of just random stuff hope you enjoyed give this a like if you'd like and i'll see you guys next time all right